Cookie. Cookie. I didn't come to play no games. <laughs> What's up, Bug family? So, the part finally came in. It's been late. It was supposed to be delivered Monday. Today is Wednesday. So, thank you, FedEx and Amazon, for my late package. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be changing out the right front fender. Uh, keep in mind, I've never done this before. Uh, I would say I'm kind of mechanical savvy. But, like I said, this is the first time. So, let me go ahead and get ready to take this stuff off and I'll show you guys the process. This is the fender, placement fender. Let's try to take this stuff off. So, this is the replacement fender. Seems like I just gotta get a clear coat over it so it can match the factory black. Uh, maybe two, three. Coat, so clear coat. Gotta take the front bump off and take the 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 um the mud flap off. All right. So first, I'm gonna take off this bolt that's holding the headlight, right headlight. I'm gonna take out this screw right here. This screw. I'm gonna take this screw off right here. This is screw right here. Take that screw off. Um, I'm gonna come down in here. I'm gonna take this screw off right here. And then I'm gonna come up under here. I think I gotta take the inner plastic off, take that off. I'm gonna take this off as well. Then I gotta kind of like remove the bumper a little bit, just a little bit, just to get to this uh, bracket right here to take the, the screw, take that off too. So. So this is the progress of everything. Got a few more bolts up under here, right where the mud flap is. Connect to the side skirt right here. Got two more bolts under there. And it'll be loose. It's a lot of screws just to get this fender off. But throw this primer on, uh, primer one on there. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get it painted really soon. I'm gonna try to get to these two boats and switch it out. Down goes Frazier. So, finally came off these two boats right here. They're gonna give you the most trouble. Cause you gotta kinda, you gotta take the side skirts off a little bit. And you gotta kinda angle yourself in the way you see. I gotta, got the wheel turned in to the, to the left. Kinda make shift it. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and Put the new one on and take these little, take these off right here and put them on the, the new one. That's for the screws to go in. I don't have any of this adhesive. Hopefully, you know, I don't run into any issues with that, but they look identical. Turn it over. <laughs> Bought it from a vendor on, on Amazon. So, pretty decent price, I guess. I had to do everything myself anyway, but everything lines up perfectly, seem like so. Well, they got a little, a little metal piece right here, whatever that is. But yeah, let me go ahead and put this back on, man. And I got, got a little while to get, uh, a little while to go, so try to beat this light. Oh, if you have not already, I'm in the sunlight. If you have not already, Bug Family, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell. That way you're notified every time there's a Rotten for the Wind video up. All right, so, ah, hands dirty, hat dirty. It's my favorite LA hat, only LA hat. So look, uh, we finished putting the fender on. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. It needs to be painted and uh, clear coated, but yeah, that den is gone. It's super dirty. I know uh, where I was hit right here. 
this bracket right here bent in so later on i'm gonna have to go in and kind of like push it out i like take all this apart but not right now definitely much later but we have a few screws left which we never like that so i'm gonna save these and label it but four screws left i know two or three go right here and one right go right here so uh i couldn't take these off maybe i can go to autozone uh, o'reilly's and get these and put it on fender which i like take it all take it all apart again which is gonna be much later but i just got tired of that dent on the car man i think it looks a lot better it looks like shireen that's her name so she looking like her normal self again she just needed to be painted and which would do that um probably within the next few weeks man i'm uh banking on some great news some great things are happening in the next few weeks so that will be painted also we may have another vehicle coming to the channel and this vehicle is going to get a lot of a lot a lot a lot a lot of footage um i'm not going to tell you what it is yet i went to go check it out yesterday in which i wanted to get it today but circumstances we're moving next week a lot of things going on right now so i'm just going to wait till things settle down hopefully it's still available i'm gonna bring you guys along for that and we're gonna get it but I want you guys to guess what it is. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I want you guys to guess what it is, but man, when I tell you it's bad, it's not foreign. It's not foreign, so. And which is, this is considered American, but yeah, it's, a, it's definitely American vehicle. I'm not gonna tell you what kind of vehicle. So stay tuned, stay locked in. If you guys have any questions in regards to how to take off your right fender of your 2013 or uh, uh, earlier years, Altima Coupe. I'm sure it's the same for all Altimas. I can, you know, uh, put down in the comments, I'll put down a how-to or something like that, or i walk you through it, but it's, it's fairly simple. Just a lot of, a lot of boats and stuff like that, in which um, it's fairly easy. I got this part from a vendor on Amazon. Um, I feel like I got a good deal. Pay like well, maybe 160 with shipping so it was probably like 140 something 150 something it wasn't that bad it got here late in which i was kind of upset about that but finally got it done it looks looks good but they're gonna put all this stuff away i gotta put this fender probably in my back seat or something man i just, this car is it's a it's a, a parts car it feel like but stay locked in don't forget to like subscribe and comment man until next time bug family